Hey everybody, it's Roger with Roger's Review and Tree Life Tree Service. Um, today we're going to be going over the Model Y and 10,000 mile review. Um, just over 10,000 miles. It's, uh, this is their charger here. I have the adapter plug in there. So this is a Ch the Chatamo charger. And sometimes it charges up to 200 uh, miles an hour if I'm preheated um, or if I'm super low. But uh, this is right two, three miles from my house. So um, I have another, I live in a condo, so I can't really charge there. But across the street, there's a charge point. <clears throat> it's level two, but it takes all night to charge. And then uh, I have a level two at my shop. It charges like 15 mile an hour. And then uh, my mom has a level two that I installed that's charged about 16, 17 mile an hour. So, which is fine if we remember to plug them in. <laughs> but like today, uh, she has solar panels. So I don't like to charge overnight. I like to turn it on first thing in the morning when the sun comes out. Because that way it doesn't affect her electric bill that much. Because all the solar power, we like to charge with solar if we can. It's just sometimes we forget to turn the... Um, the charger on in the morning so that's why i'm here at the uh chatamo charger at nissan so if there was anything at all that i would change would be a bigger battery pack other than that i don't think i would change i mean if money was no object of course i'd get the dual motor but um i think if you're going to go buy uh, a tesla uh, this car by itself will do 99.9% .9 of everything you need to do. It's just that I travel to Gainesville a lot, and I also do a lot of estimates. And I don't like to charge to 100%, and I don't like to get below 20%. Um, so you want to stay in the 20 to 80 range. And for me, to, in order to do that, I just have to charge more, and I have to make more stops. So... Like I said, if there was anything, I would not change anything about this car um, price-wise except for a bigger battery pack. So I think the best battery pack to get for me or probably 90% of the population would be a 300 mile minimum because then you could charge to 80% and you'd get like 240, 250 miles, which would be perfect for me. Um, I, if I, if you charged a hundred percent every time, it's going to just, and you go below 20%, it's just going to wear your battery pack out faster. So, um, yeah, they should, I think they should come out with a, a 300, uh, mile battery pack, and then you could use 80%, <clears throat> which would put you right in that 250, 260 range. So, but other than that, it's been a great car. Um, it's just awesome. Um, the self-driving is awesome. Um, I can't wait to, I use the self-driving all the time. Um, no matter, as soon as I get in the car and as soon as I get to a point where it can self-drive, I hit it. And of course, you know, I, I pay attention. Um, sometimes you're on and off, you know, the phone and stuff like that. Um, when you're doing estimates, it's like having a second person with you because, um, you know, the, when your phone's connected, another thing I like is when I walk away from the car, it locks up. When I walk up to the car, it, it opens up. So it's just, there. there's so many things that are convenience um, that you don't realize until you drive one. Once you drive an electric vehicle, when I first drove my Leaf, I didn't want to drive anything but an electric car. And now that I've driven a Tesla, um, I've rented a bunch of them. I've rented a, um, a regular, um, model three, uh, single motor, and I've rented, um, a dual motor, high performance, a performance model three, super fast. I love the speed. I love the acceleration. You really don't need it, but if Tesla was not coming out with a truck, I would get, um, I would get this model Y. I think the model Y is like the perfect car if trucks weren't available. So, but I'm definitely going to get at least the 300 mile range and 
if the stock does well, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade depending on what, you know, the longer, the longer, <laughs> I mean, I'd love to have my truck now, but the longer we have to wait, the more the stock will go up. So the more chances I have of giving, getting the upgrade. So I'm really going to be happy with a dual motor, 300 miles, but I would be extremely exuberant if I could get the uh, 500 mile tri-motor. So we'll see what happens and see where the uh, finances are. But as far as I'm concerned, this is the best car right now is the Model Y. Dollar for dollar, bang for your buck, the Model Y is the most car you can get for your money in an EV. But if you're gonna order one of these, please consider upgrading to getting a long range because anything under 300 miles, I think you'll wish you got more miles. So anyway, this is Roger with Roger's reviews on the 2021 Model Y standard range from Tesla. Awesome. So if you like this video, please subscribe, crush the like button, and uh, I'll give you more updates. And I'll definitely going to do some a lot of a lot of videos of the uh, Cybertruck when I get it. So have a great day.